Hi guys, I'm Andy. Welcome back to Backpacking UK. Hiking, backpacking and wild camping are your thing. Please hit that subscribe button because that's what this channel is all about. Right, today I get to review the brand new 2023 Terra Nova Southern Cross 110. It's a fantastic solo backpacking tent, a true four season tent. It's really well made, really high quality, but it's compact too. It's 42 centimetres by 15 centimetres. Despite being such a hardy four season tent, it weighs 1.77 kilograms all in, which I can't really grumble too much about that. Now, this is deceiving. It might look like a lovely day, but it's starting to get really, really chilly. So now is the time to break out the four season tents. Just gonna keep you dry and warm, to be honest. And there's lots of benefits such as low fly edges, but they still have ventilation options too. Also lots of solid mesh to help keep you warm. Now, as much as I love the Terra Nova Southern Cross One, I have two main issues with it, which I'll come to you at the end. But now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you what inside you get inside the tent bag, then I'm gonna get it pitched for you to have a good look at. So this is what you get inside the tent bag. You've got the inner and outer, which pitches together, which is absolutely fantastic if it's raining or if it's windy. You've got two poles, which are color coordinated with the tabs on the tent. It's really, really quick and simple to make this tent up. You've also got these Highly upgraded pegs, they're so much better than the old ones now. Really, really good pegs. So when you pitch the Terra Nova Southern Cross One tent, just remember it's a one door, one vestibule tent. So you want the door to be on the side you want it to be at before you start putting everything together. Now it is a freestanding tent, which means even if you did do that, once the tent poles are in place, you could move it around to suit your ideal pitch. So it's a little bit windy today, so what I'm going to do before I start pitching this tent and putting the poles through, I'm just going to put a couple of stakes in the ground to stop the tent from flying away. So with my freestanding tents, before I start pitching them, I always make sure the poles are set out first. What I'm looking for is to make sure there's no gaps between the poles and if they are curved like this one is, that all the pole sections are in the right places. So I'm just going to start by pitching the Terra Nova Southern Cross one with the red pole. So we've got red fixings in the fly. So I'm just going to poke the poles through the ringlets there at the end. So it's so fast to pitch this tent. So you've got the blue fix in here, just slide it in the little ring at the end, thread it through and very quickly this tent starts to take shape. So now the blue pole is erected, I just need to clip the fly to the outer. You hear me talk about idiot proof tents, this is one of them. It's so quick and easy to pitch. You simply cannot go wrong at all. There's lots and lots of clips which don't take long to clip up, but it means the tent is so nice and taut, doesn't rattle around in the, in the wind at all. It's fantastically well built and made. And that's it. Now to start pegging it out. So let's take a look around the Terra Nova Southern Cross One tent. So you've got two vents at either end, which really, really help with ventilation. The tent poles are 8.64 millimeters and they're color coordinated. Got loads of pegging points. The guiding points are in the right places. The fly is a 30D fabric with a hydrostatic head rate of 5,000, so this is seriously waterproof tent. Now for 2023, you've got this addition of a hood, which really helps with both ventilation and it's just nice when you've got the door open in the rain as well, gives you a little bit more shelter. It's also a PFC free inner for 2023. You've got additional pegging point on the door and some door attachments as well. 
But it's a really quite an aero tent if you stick the ends into the wind. The tent doesn't move around a lot at all. It's just really well made, really nice materials. You're not going to pierce the fly when putting through your tent pole because it's really nice and thick. But it's just a fantastic well-made tent. So let's open turn over some cross one tent up. You've got the storm flap on Velcro, which is really good. You've got a two-way zipper. At the bottom, you've got a little clip to clip in and stop that zip from riding up. But one thing I love about this, you've obviously got all the high quality fixings, but as well as the traditional method of tying up your door, with the Terranova 7 Cross 1, you've got these two clips, which simply clip onto the pole there. So it's really quick and easy to get in and out of this tent. It's superb. So inside the tent, you've got a 20D inner, you've got a 70D bathtub floor, which is really nice and thick with a hydrostatic head rating of 10,000. So even without a ground sheet, it's highly unlikely you're going to have any piercings. It's really nice, thick material and super waterproof too. So as you can see, there's a lot of solid mesh with a bit of see-through mesh. Well, this door, you can actually zip up a completely solid mesh section. So if it's freezing cold, you can block out all those chilly drafts. You've got a nice sized 50 centimetre vestibule, which is perfect for storing your backpack, some of your belongings, and also gives you space to cook with as well. So with the inner door, you've got dual zippers, which nicely go all the way round, huge D-zip. Now, one thing I love about this door, as well as being able to have see-through mesh and solid mesh, is you've got two door fixing points. Now, I always struggle when they've just got one. The inner door keeps undoing. It's really quite annoying. But once these fixings are fixed, you can just forget about it, get in and out of your tent really quickly and easily. So inside the Terranova 7 Cross 1, it's 220 centimetres long. It is 52 centimetres wide and 100 centimetres wide in the middle as well. You've got two pockets. You've got two little sort of hook-in points up there. Now you've got these really good vents at the ends where you can either have them open or quite simply closed like so. So this is inside the Terranova Sun Cross 1 tent. This is where one of my issues is. It's only 84 centimetres high. So I'm only 5 foot 8, 172 centimetres. I have got a longish back. But even so, even slouched, my head is touching the roof of the inner, which, as you know, I do find quite annoying. However, if I just sit a little bit more forward, I've got loads and loads of space to properly spread out, stretch out. And to be honest, this is how I sit inside this tent. So I've got backpack, some of my belongings. I've got this lovely cooking area. If it's raining, this hood just gives me that little bit more space and it stops any water ingress into the inner. Now, what do I really think about the Terranova 7 Cross 1 tent? Now, if you're a bigger person, personally, I'd probably avoid it. It's a Terranova 7 Cross 2. I would highly recommend that. You've also got the Terranova Pioneer 2, which I would say is a 1.5 person tent. It's not big enough for a two person tent, but it's a lovely space if you've just got it to yourself. It's really, really good. Now, my second issue is this retails at 700 pounds. That's an enormous amount of money. To be fair for this tent, however, if you click in the link in the description, use the code Backpack in UK, you get 20% off this tent. And as far as I'm aware, that code does not expire. However, I think they've actually got an additional 10% off this tent at the moment, so it's £490. That is much, much, much more like it. I mean, this is a, 
a very high quality, well-made tent, but the end of the day, 700 pounds is an enormous amount of money. So that's much more realistic, 490 pound. However, if you can't afford that, the Wild Country Helm One is a cracking tent. I've got the two person version of that. Yeah, again, it's really well made. The only drawback is it's a bit heavier. But one of the benefits of the Wild Country Helm One is the interior is actually higher. It's actually 93 centimetres high. So it's actually probably a little bit better suited for my needs, even though being substantially cheaper. But it is a cracking tent if you're a smaller person or if you don't mind smaller tents it's absolutely superb high quality durable really weather resistant super easy to pitch there's no doubt about that and it has got some absolutely cracking features so if you want to see this tent in action please check out my three days in the lakes video where we had the best time and absolutely stunning weather but hopefully you like this review please check out my other videos hope to see you backpacking soon cheers